my hair just isn't cooperating it's really really annoying but you know what that's all right i don't care that's not what this video is about this week okay there we go i think i got it under management ish hi and welcome to simple social sister my name's rochelle and this is my life my experience now on the 19th of march 2016 sydney celebrated earth hour now this is an annual worldwide event held towards the end of march um where we celebrate turning off our lights for one hour from 8 30 to 9 30 in your local time now this isn't like a complete blackout of lighting and electronics and all that stuff it's generally just targeted at overhead lighting now it's up to you if you want to turn off all electronics and all your electricity in your house but the main concern is all overhead lighting and i know that's what we did in our household as well earth hour was created in collaboration with wwf or the worldwide fund for nature i remember the first earth hour being held back in 2007 and i remember i participated in it too and my family participated in it as well and we've kind of been doing that similarly as well every single year um, and it's just a really simple task which is why I think it's a really cool initiative to bring on every single year and it's really cool to see how this has grown over the last couple of years as well um, and it's made so much more people and organizations and cities more aware too. Now the main aim is to address the issue of climate change and the effects that we have on our earth. Um, it also helps us become aware of our global footprint and our impact on the earth as we want to help create a sustainable future for not only ourselves but for everything and for everyone who lives on this earth now there are links in the description box where you can find out more about this organization and about this campaign and about this day that happens every single year and that way you guys can also be involved with how it runs and how it works and just about who's involved and what we can do to make things better Okay, so now let's get to the important bit about why you guys clicked on this video. So this is not me telling you guys to take shorter showers or turn off the tap when you're brushing your teeth. Um, this is about ways to save in the digital age concerning mobile phones, laptops, um, lights that we're always dependent on. These are things that we use today. So basically what I'm going to be teaching you is ways that you can save battery on your phone and your laptop because by constantly having to charge your phone and your laptop, it means that you're wasting electricity, um, um, unnecessary electricity that you could be having by prolonging the time that you've got using your devices. So it's a win-win as well as little tricks that you can do around your house or even if you use lights in your videos. Number one, mobile phones. Now, this is something that everyone has got with them and they pretty much carry it everywhere because it's got every single thing. Not only calls anymore, you can have your emails, you can um, talk to people through social media, you can send and create videos and just there's a whole plethora of things that you can do on your mobile phone now. Now I have an iPhone so what I do may vary in terms of the device that you're using. So the first tip is probably probably the most simple one and that's using power saver mode. I mean that's what it's called. So you go into settings, you go into battery and then you go into power saver mode and you just turn it on. And how you know that it's on is that it's got that yellow little light um, on your battery. So this kind of just stops everything from reloading and refreshing in the background so you won't get your emails reloaded and you won't get notifications of it unless you actually click the app and wait for it to load. So now the next one is closing all apps that you've got open. Now this is simple just by double tapping the home button you can see all the things that you've got open. Now close all the unnecessary things that you don't need. So all these apps that I'm just closing off I just don't need. I tend to only have two or three that I've got leave left open and that way this as well is another tip that helps not drain your batteries so quickly. So the next one is turning off your Bluetooth which is such a simple one as well and there are two ways that you can get to it. The easiest way is swiping up and being 
directed to the command center or home center where you can it's the middle circle and you just press that the next way is a little bit longer and you do this by just clicking settings and it's the third one that comes up so you type in bluetooth click on bluetooth and you just close So the next is nighttime mode or airplane mode. So you do this by by dragging up and just clicking the little moon on which is the second from the right as well as that little airplane mode. Now this is just an alternative for people who do use their phones every single day as a alarm to wake up in the morning because I know that I use that as well so um, I would just suggest turning off your phone but that's just an unrealistic thing sometimes that you can't do so what I would do do those little things and it just helps your phone last that much longer moving on to laptop so a lot of the laptop tips that I'm giving you are pretty much similar to those that you can do on your mobile phone as well I've also got a Mac laptop so Again, it may differ for what type of laptop you use, so these tips may vary. The first thing that I suggest is closing your apps um, or closing basically any sort of software or application that you're not using at the moment. So you do this by just double clicking, press quit, and you'll see that little light below the icon of your, applica of your application just disappear. And that's how you know you've completely turned off that application. Another great tip is to simply just use one browser. Now, I know a couple people that use certain browsers. They use um, Safari, they'll use Chrome, they'll use Mozilla, Firefox, and I don't know why you're using all of them. You only need to use one. And what you can do is just open multiple tabs or open multiple windows. That way, um, you're also not draining your laptop as quickly. So just close all those using the same step that I used at the start. So double click and press quit and that light will just disappear. Another one may be a little hard because I know that a lot of you like to keep things running but again this is just a simple way that it will help preserve your laptop life and that's turning off your laptop when you go to sleep. Now you're not using your laptop, you're sleeping, unless you're uploading a YouTube video or you're converting a file that's somehow going to take all night, I'm not entirely sure, you're not really going to be needing your laptop. Um, so the best thing that you can do for it is just let it sleep um, and it's just like a person. So shut down your laptop, turn it off and let it sleep for the night. Now, number three, we're moving on to household tasks. Another simple thing is a lot of people love to use candles. I know I do too. At the moment, not recently because it is 40 degrees and I don't think it's necessary to use it. Um, so I do tend to use them a lot more towards the winter months. So I like to use a lot more um, healthy alternatives such as soy candles or beeswax candles. Now, I certainly do implement this. I love using a lot more soy candles and um, that just helps me breathe in a cleaner air and as you know I do have asthma which just help emanate a more cleaner air into the surrounded space that you're lighting that candle in. Um, some of my favorite places to go is dusk. Um, I find it's just really easy to go to that place because um, I find that there are a lot of stalls that they have all throughout Australia so that's the one place that I would definitely recommend going and they tend to have a lot of sales which is really cool too. Now another easy task that you can use is using LED lights. So that's switching out all your light bulbs and using LED lighting. Um, I know we've implemented this in our house. It's just the lighting is so much brighter. It's a lot better and it's a lot better for our environment too. 
Another cool tip is using solar lighting. I know for all our Christmas lights, most of them are solar lights. So that way it's not eating up into your electricity bill. And as well, we tend to have lights set up in our backyard. So that's it for this video. Remember, let me know if you guys use these tips and how they went. And also if you've got some tips to help me out and anyone else who's in this video, drop a comment down below for ways that we can help so save our environment and as well just save electricity or save battery on our laptops or our phones because I certainly know that I love getting more tips on how to do this. Also just a reminder I'll leave a link down below for anything that I've mentioned especially the Earth Hour website where you can find more information in regards to this really cool awesome cause that hopefully you will be able to participate in next year when it comes around so you can mark it in your diaries now. Thanks so much for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment down below. So let me know if you decided to use those tips and how they went. Remember to follow me all throughout social media to get regular updates and all things to the social system and I will see you next week.